91-127 talks about operations in Class E airspace. If there is an operating control tower, aircraft are required to follow the same rules under the Class G airspace. In addition, departures also require you to follow local guidelines or rules. Again, communication with control tower. If it's lost after it's established, remember that four nautical mile ring and less than 2,500 feet? If communication is lost for some reason, like radio failure, inside of Class E airspace, you're permitted to continue into land, provided that weather conditions are at or above VFR weather, visual contact with the tower is maintained, and clearance to land is received, usually via light signals.